Reset Snipers, it's Francis here. Yep, and I'm gonna make this a short one. And uh, I wanna just introduce you to some unbelievable Nostradamus-like uh, predictions. In fact, far better than Nostradamus. If you've ever read the work of Nostradamus, it's highly interpretive, it's very oldy world language. It speaks in metaphors and literature uh, that is beyond the realms of being sharp, definitive, and precise. Uh, I'm going to be showing you this here uh, clip from footage that was dated February the 29th, 1956. That is 64 years ago. 64 years ago. So this uh, is going to have one element. Uh, it's quite a short clip. It's not going to be a long video, this at all, um, that makes a particular prediction. And it makes a prediction about 64 years from now. So that is kind of like me sitting here right now and saying in 2084, the following event will occur. I have to tell you, I'm not uh, in any way enabled with sufficient skill sets to do anything of the sort about what will likely be the set of circumstances around 2084, apart from a very draconian Bolshevik commie led world with a greatly reduced population, I would guess, um, and transhumanism chips everywhere and controlled mindsets, permanent happy pills, and the perpetual feeding on um, our children by the elite ruling classes. But anyway, let's not get into that dark matter. Let's hear what this production clip that has been edited and shared has to say about the future sitting as it was in 1956, February the 29th. So I'll just hold the mic by the speaker so that we get good audio. When you think of the future, you likely envision the remarkable technologies that you've seen in comic books and films. You may begin to picture flying cars, trains driven by electromagnets, or household robots that will see to your every need. While modern scientists agree that many of these inventions are either unlikely or unnecessary, it may surprise you to learn what the future could actually hold. Imagine being able to share your thoughts with millions of people at once, simply by typing them on a keyboard and sending them through the air. Think of what life will be like when all of the many fixtures of an office, including a typewriter and an entire Rolodex, can fit within a device smaller than a loaf of bread. Consider the vacation plans you could make when a single trip on an airplane is all that's needed to visit anywhere on Earth. Yes, the future certainly looks bright, but it isn't without its darker sides. According to some predictions, obesity will likely run rampant, and political corruption will become so commonplace as to be accepted. People with nothing entertaining or informative to say will broadcast their demands for attention, and once-beloved performers will become pushers of snake oil. Perhaps worst of all will be the emergence of a deadly and potentially devastating disease. Think of the last time that you contracted influenza. You were likely bedridden for days, having no appetite or desire to play games. Experts predict that by the year 2020, a new virus will rise, spreading from somewhere in Asia to the rest of the world. And with international travel being available to even the most common citizen, a sickness which would have been contained in years past will quickly spread to all corners of the globe. Wow. A sickness from Asia to spread to all corners of the globe in the year 2020. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. So in 1956, but like me saying in 2084. In fact, 64 years on, yeah, 2084. 2084, there will be a global plague of the bubonic plague mark II. Fascinating. And of course, the obesity and the celebs pushing products and the corruption, the political corruption, the 
Ashkenazi Zionists have absolutely seized all major axes of control from media to everything. We are actually in the end of days of any chance of modicum of freedom. And they are bringing a prediction I made in March when the pandemic came. In March, the pandemic came. And I said uh, at that point that wave two will be coinciding. <coughs> Get my corona sneeze out the way. Um, wave two will be coinciding with the Christmas New Year. So they brought wave one on the back end of winter so that they could keep for the shortest, very hard sell in summer so that they could keep and prolong and drag out into deep into summer, then only have a short spell of freedom and then start already pre-hyping the Northern Hemisphere winter. And here we have the independent, i.e. the Irish news, coronavirus island. Christmas could be cancelled as COVID surges across, surges across the nation. And medics, the medical people are urging for the move to level four. It's all your doctors and nurses in those overwhelmed hospitals with queues out the door, all COVID, where they've cancelled all cancer ops, cancelled all everything else, heart, never mind, put it all back. There's a surge, there are lines, it's time to rebuild the Excel um, center stuffed with Florence Nightingale, was it a Nightingale hospital? This, the urgent need of the nurse with the millions in of illness that actually never was utilized on any meaningful scale at all. And the prediction in Reset Sniper at the beginning of this year, as I sat in South Africa with my lovely little room flow pool looking over the jungle and said, wave to Northern Hemisphere winter. They're going to take away your Christmas and your, in my opinion, New Year. Um, so this is designed to crush morale. This is the most absolutist form of morale crushing. Also, Nolan, Chris Nolan, a pork pie eater, if ever I've seen one, um, was also around and about. Let's see if I can find that clip as well. Have a look from here. Um, a pork pie eater of great renowned radio station. It's time for the police to intervene to get people to wear their masks. There are people putting two fingers up. Um, they are murdering our elderly. Um, and we can also further add, even if you be young and you won't die of the fear flu that is so devastating, it may leave long-term effects on you were you to contract it. Trying to create heat and fear in the youth that will now largely accepted and conceded now that there's absolutely no death or mortality for young people. The average age of death from this flu is very similar to the death from other flus, 82 and a half, which is round about when we all start to pop our clogs, unless you are part of the elite cartel that have all other dirty little dark habits for life extension, but let's not go down that rabbit hole. Um, yep, so this radio announcer, very much like the independent.ie, all your governments are controlled. They are coming psychologically. They know it causes suicide. They know it's going to cause mental depression. They know it's going to cause fear and revolution. They are ready with the army. The army is walking the streets in Birmingham offering people COVID tests door to door, people that can show up anytime they like to underutilize clinics and hospitals where there is nothing much going on and ask for a test if they want. This is now getting invasive. Instead of where you optionally elect to go forward, they are now offering to do door delivery. No, go fetch me a hamburger and bring it to my door. That's going to be more useful. No, they won't be doing that service. Not at all. They are doing the bidding. They need to keep the CV-90 COVID threat in the front door. It's so important that the army is coming and giving you optional tests at your door future drive-throughs for your vaccine. The vaccine needs to come out. We're really pushing it. Ra -da -ra -da -ra. Trump's fake little sickness at 77, or however old he is, 74, the Biden 77. Um, he was up and down in a single, literally feels like two days. Oh, we've contracted. Oh, we're getting great service. Oh, we're back up. We've got work to do. Um, there you go. That's your deadly disease on an aged man. Wow. 
He must be real fit. Does it look like he goes to gym a lot, Trump? Lean, mean, fighting machine, unbelievable condition. Mm, I don't know. Looks a bit ordinary for a 74-year-old for me. But hey, what do I know? What do I know? So wave two is here. Wave two is here. I expect there will be a third wave in the back end again of winter, much to coincide with the first wave a full year later and they'll have squeezed. So they'll, they'll squeeze you all the way through Christmas, New Year, and then they'll bring it back for a Indian summer of COVID-19, by which time you should be left with no choice but to take the vaccine. But thankfully, your big pharma companies, in the name of saving the world, have been working night and day and now have a mercury-based with uh, baby tissue captured from family planning clinic, which is selling all the aborted baby tissue on the back end and making more money charging on the back end than it's even making paying charging on the front end for the abortions so that your body cannot recognize that it is a foreign agent and thinks it's tissue uh, so that it assumes and absorbs all the devious intent that the tech is brought around and around your RNA and DNA that uh, Bill Gates and all his psychopathic psychopathic there is no new normal there is no normal there's no going back to what we had before until the world is vaccinated and i said all along when this COVID came out it's all about the vaccine everyone's caught up about it it feels like obvious and old hat now said it's about vaccinations for everyone it's about what they'll be putting inside you. It's the end game. We are living in the end game. These guys have such draconian overarching control through all the major media, governmental, uh, uh, transnational, aka IMF, uh, World Economic Forum, uh, WHO, uh, Bilderberg Meeting uh, Group, all governments, all EU, all uh, United Nations, uh, health, global health, uh, through the who, who and down at your governmental level. They have a top-down media blanket out where they can assert an entirely fake narrative globally. These are the guys that gave you the box cutters. A handful of Saudis with box cutters crashed four airline planes uh, and in New York used only two planes to crash three buildings. Um, this is who you're dealing with. And the Rockefeller that owned the New York harbors uh, quickly separated themselves from it six weeks before to a guy called Silverstein, who happens to be Ashkenazi, Zionist, Nazi, supremacist, uh, double insured, got paid twice, even though he didn't get what he wanted. Uh, and as a result of all of that, uh, everybody, the Israelis danced in the streets with joy because they knew the American bodies would start stacking up, asserting all their goals in the Middle East for them, not having to kill the Israeli soldiers. They can just be localized in Israel, breaking the arms with rocks of Palestinian kids. Yes, I've seen the video um, that they've taken and smashing their arms and limbs with rocks. This is the most psychopathic, vile, horrific, horrendous, satanic nation and the world will be run by there. The tech is moving there. These peace deals with Saudi, these peace deals with uh, all these other nations is all part of making the Middle East uh, conglomeration um, controlled by you know who. And uh, I'm afraid to say they're winning. They are winning. There's nothing positive to say that. It's the most tragic thing. I'm making money. Yes, I got my uh, Ethereum trade uh, wrong, but I'm making money. I'm making money at trading in the business and it's the saddest money to make. It's the saddest money to make because future and time, you can't buy with money, future and time. And I can tell you, it keeps coming. It's easy to predict. In fact, many of what uh, I've implied or said, in f I've subsequently seen and read in the World Economic uh, Forum uh, map. Watch James Corbett's channel. Watch tr um, True News. Um, is it True News? Real News? Uh, Adam Green. Watch all of these. Uh, truth. Uh, watch them on BitChute. 
as well uh subscribe there youtube in time um it's a matter of time that this channel lasts your christmas and your new year will be taken away you will have restricted movement you must buy your christmas presents on amazon who will be covid 19 free all workers tested with gloves ready to deliver to your door pr your one world online retailer rockefeller based ashkenazi jew um and that's how it is that's how it is and that's who your boss is bud and the greatest set uh, threat is a white uh, skinned male nationalist uh nazi transphobe misogynist uh anti-semite uh da -da 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 -da, every other slur you can think of uh, and they'll have you hating on their worst possible resistance to their agenda uh, while they bring it on and whatever ethnicity you are trust me once they've done dealing with the whites you're next um, this is draconian control there's only 1.1 billion whites in the world they want 500 million total population in something that's reaching 7.5 billion whatever ethnicity you are you're if you're not in the cartel let me tell you your odds of getting through uh, are pretty slim um and I, i'm afraid to say it's pretty dark it's pretty dark out there in reset land it's pretty dark the financials coming uh live for today spend for today love for today make use of the time for today i'll keep throwing out the predictions and i fear in many instances that i'll be close or there around uh in terms of where this thing is going and uh Get remote, get out of the urban areas, start resisting, start getting locally familiar, get out of countries with big governments, get out of big population countries, get out of the urban areas, get into remote uh, lands, buy uh, uh, private property, self-reliance uh, self is the key phrase with as much from food, electricity, water and lights, capture water and tanks, do everything you can because you may have to or prepare to submit next time you travel to proving that you've been vaccinated with your special tattoo with multiple little needles that will be scanned luminous under your skin so that you never leave it behind it can never be lost it can also keep your medical records and other cool things you can have an app on your phone that can tell you how many times your heart beat today and many other cool little things just submit to us getting under your skin and we'll make it like you never have to think ever again you can be prescribed happy pills all the time your new normal is you'll own nothing yet be permanently happy isn't that awesome for your slave masters okay that's the end of reset sniper the depression edition play smart play cool see you on the other side in the community there are things you can do that can reduce uh, the overarching overreaching end game that almost sees unstoppable um, and i suggest you do them because this game is escalating 2020 was the year what a guess from 1956 wow flu pandemic that could close the world down hmm. i wish i could guess like that i can guess okay but that that was special 2084 i'm calling for a much lower amount of population and a whole bunch of transhumanism that's all i've got for you i'm the reset sniper you can register and book a call on how we trade this uh and how we get to build wealth how we'll get as far off grid as we can and do the best of hiding because nobody seems to be fighting back nobody seems to be fighting back yet there's this real real villain of white nationalist uh conspiracy theorist um racist transphobe misogynist uh anti-semites okay um i wish i wish there was more reason that they had for pushing back i wish there was more adverse feedbacks events for the people like this that wear suits and ties and act on behalf and are funded by these transnational organizations unfortunately there isn't with that i love you and leave you and say we're going to need a lot of luck because this enemy is in the final three minutes of a a 90 minute game and they're six nil up and it's not easy coming back from this one. Okay, bye for now. See you in the community. Let's make money. Let's have make the best of whatever we have left. Bye for now.